Hello everybody and welcome to my 1,000 subscriber Q&A. Yes, I know, it's not 1,000 subscribers, but I woke up, it was 1,000, and I didn't expect it to go this fast, okay? I was literally like, Hey bro, are you hot? Why are we going so fucking we, fast, we, we stopped, nigga? We stopped, we stopped, though. Hell, what? So just pretend I have 1,000 right now, and as soon as this video is over, it is where it is right now, the number, you know? And also thank you for that number. Now just a little bit of information before I get into the questions. You're gonna be seeing some Dirt gameplay, Dirt Rally, for some background video, like the olden days where people used to do q a commentaries over call of duty gameplay plus i didn't really write a script for this q a which i probably should have so you're gonna see some text on the screen sometimes adding some stuff i only remembered when i was editing this plus this q a is gonna be a two-parter because i wanted to answer as many questions as i could but i didn't expect this many questions and such a huge influx of subscribers so fast what can i say i'm suffering from success guys give me a break okay also i tried to include all questions but some of them were repeated and or i did not see them and or i don't want to fucking answer them so sorry and no subtitles because i'm a lazy cunt now let us begin with the first question a very topical one which is okay am i high or did you suddenly gain 1k subs did you get botted or shouted out something since you didn't even upload that day maybe the algorithm was on your side well no actually some glorious motherfucker decided to make a fan page of me on tiktok and it fucking blew up got over 700 000 views on one video they even gave proper credit like you the boss man damn thank you to this human being i've always wanted to make a tiktok but i just kind of hated the platform and i didn't want to be on there but he has inspired me he or she i don't fucking know who you are, dude. You have inspired me to make a TikTok of my own, except it's not doing that great. It's kind of sad and pathetic, to be honest. Like, uh, it's dead. Come on, do something. So you know what? As long as you're giving proper credit, you have the green light from me. Godspeed, son. Fucking keep posting that shit because me likey the results. Now on to the next question. Why are you so gay? Well, once you taste a rainbow, it's like a rabbit hole. You keep going down it and it's just, you can't let go. Next, where can I buy the poster? What poster? Also, Augustus Martinitis. Your username is fucking hilarious. It sounds like a goddamn illness, bro. How do you pick the movies? Well, usually it's just something I watched and I find interesting or not interesting, that there's something that I want to bash in it or like take a piss out of it. I found something wrong, whatever. Thankfully, all the ones I've been choosing lately are sort of popular so I can leech off their success a bit. But when I don't have anything in mind or I didn't watch anything lately, I'll just go to the list of fuck ton of movie suggestions that you gave me and pick one from there that I always wanted to watch or that seems interesting to me, nice and old, nice and obscure, whatever. And sometimes friends really want me to make a certain movie, so I'll do that for them. That's how Blade Runner happened. One of my friends asked me to do so. Lots of them happen like that, by the way. And lots of them happen because I just chose it from the list and lots of them happened because I just wanted to do it. Why do you exist to suffer? What's your favorite movie? Definitely The World's End. It's fucking amazing. You got the love story. You got the fucking friendship story. You got the guy who's drunk and wants to go back to old times. You got action. You got comedy. You got drama. What else do you want, man? It's so fucking gold. But barely anybody knows about it. I don't know why. Not more people need to see this shit, man. Do you crank 90s? No, I don't. Fuck Fortnite. It sucks ass. Every time I shoot somebody, they turn into a goddamn building and all I want to do is learn 11 that building but i can't do that because whenever i find a plane i get fucking shot because i suck how much money you make well great question Akak. as of right now dolph has made off of youtube exactly zero dollars <laughs> But I did recently get monetized, so that's good news, I guess. Where do you see yourself in five years? I don't know, dude. A mirror? I don't think that far ahead home. Quieres? Si, senor. Xbox or PS4? Fuck them both. PC Master Race all the way. But if I had to choose PS4. Favorite chemical to inhale? Cyanide. That's right, pussy. I like to lay some cyanide into my weed. I like this thing, motherfucker. Setup reveal? Nah, I'm not gonna do one. It'll just give away too much. Also, I don't like showing off. Not that there's anything to go about on my setup. I'm literally using a bendy IKEA desk lamp as a mouse bungee, so so my cable doesn't fray. I have my screen on four textbooks that I've never read because I'm a loser. Also, my chair, this hydraulic thingy, go up and down thingy is broken, so to prevent it from sinking every time I sit on it and or having the rod shoot up my fucking ass for some surprise angle sex, I have a piece of PVC pipe that's just the right size in there to protect my dignity. Not that there's any left, but yeah, nothing to write home about on my setup. And I'm already home, so. What's your next video going to be? Probably iRobot. Have you always wanted to do YouTube or has this become a thing to do on the side? Videos are well thought out, are pretty funny, my guy. I hope you take it easy, man. Thanks, air conditioning. Yes, I kind of always wanted to do YouTube. I've been on this platform since 2006, since its inception, my guy. But I haven't done shit. I'm just a lurker. I've seen a lot of shit. In fact, I've seen cars in full in 2006 in 10 parts on YouTube. I was also a really big fan of Call of Duty.
of Duty, you know, trolling and shit, you know, Vanos Gaming back when they still did Call of Duty and KOR Speedy, all that type of jazz just being annoying on the internet it was funny as fuck to me. What's Ligma? Ligma is a debilitating disease that affects the brain, body, all motor skills and nervous system. It has many similar diseases such as E10, Thursday, China, Sugma, Sakon, and so on and so forth. I hope anybody affected by Ligma gets a, a fast and swift recovery. Are you black? Sure, why not? I'm black on the inside, you feel me? Why do you love movies so much? I don't love movies as much as you think I do. I am what I'd like to call a brain dead movie watcher. I will pretty much watch and enjoy anything you put in front of. Even if it's bad, I'll go out like, eh, here's a movie, eh. That's alright. Except for uh, Suicide Squad. Fuck that movie. That shit sucks. That was a slap in the face. I felt insulted watching that. Next question. This is great, buddy. What are your studies? And if it's too personal, what led you to do this? Reviews and animations and who helped you along the way? Well, it's not too personal. I'm studying computer science and programming. I'm in my last year and I just finished my midterm, so I'm on the home stretch. I'm gonna be an engineer. Can you believe it? Me. Me. This stupid motherfucker. I know, it's crazy. And as for the second part of the question, there's actually a lot of other questions that are similar to asking why I started, what motivated me, what inspired me, all that crap. To give a proper answer to these questions, the video will be very, very extremely long. So I'm gonna answer that in a video dedicated only to these questions later on for another special, maybe 100 or 500k, maybe even a million if I ever get there and just give a brief, incomplete, vague answer right now. I just like talking shit and bashing movies for a laugh. A lot of things inspire me, too many to mention right now and I always want to do this as I mentioned before and a couple years back I finally got the burst of motivation I needed to do it and the reason I make videos the way I do is because PC culture and family friendly content is boring as shit and I can't be bothered to pander to normie faggots with skin thinner than a strand of hair so I went in the complete other direction and regressed back to Frank but also everything is made with intent purpose of giving off a don't take this video too seriously it's just some random internet garbage type of vibe as for the people who help me a lot of family and friends help me one of my best friends even stop me from quitting this channel like two videos in as i said i can go more in depth in all of this but for now this will have to do pig what would you say is your favorite film franchise and why i don't really have a favorite film franchise but if we're going by my favorite movie is probably the cornetto trilogy as for why i just think like the jokes are hilarious i like british humor for some reason and uh like the edits and everything like everything is just right with these movies honestly favorite ever video game infamous 2 best shit ever you're bald you shoot electricity out of your dick it's you can slide over like electricity stuff it's fun as shit and i love it and it's half as long twice as bright baby let's go what's your favorite food cinnamon that shit's amazing will you have merch if i get big enough sure why not hey exclamation mark i see that most questions in the past five minutes are shit so here comes mine i like the confidence garrett the nasdaq what inspires you to make videos or answer that how long does it take you to make a video anywhere between 20 and 30 hours how do you make these videos ms paint i use ms paint for the super pictures and photoshop to edit them around and uh, Adobe Premiere Pro to edit the videos. What is your favorite meme? Okay, this is, okay. You, <laughs> I'm glad you asked because I don't know why. I didn't have one for the longest time, but suddenly I had one because it's, it's called how to mount a horse. Meme. No, meme. My meme. It's how to mount a pony, okay. <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> What's the background music on your videos? Not the one at the end, the one at the, during the explanation. Also, can't believe it took so long to reach 1,000 subscribers. Your channel's way underrated. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Choco Boko. The music is elevator music. It's just elevator music. I, I got it off the internet years ago. It's on my computer as elevator music number two. What do you get your mom for Mother's Day? Nothing. I'm a horrible son. What is your favorite genre of movies? Because you seem to jump around a lot with the kinds of movies. Yeah, I don't have a single favorite genre. I like comedy. I like action. I like action comedy. I like drama. I like romance. I like comedy romance. Thriller. Maybe not horror that much because I'm a giant pussy but yeah not one single one maybe comedy action more than anything hey shitbag a few questions for you big lizard or giant monkey in Dika or sativa have you seen heavy metal animated music based flick giant monkey definitely my heart goes with giant monkey but we all know that big lizard is gonna do the job you know it's what you there's, there's no conversation here fucking nuclear dinosaur bro in or sativa why not both billy think outside the box billy and now what happens in heavy metal which explained by an idiot video did you enjoy making the most and what is it was it also about your favorite movie no it was not about my favorite movie but i also don't have a favorite one but i, I like doing wally one the jurassic park one because i was pleasantly surprised with all the fucking mistakes they did in there it was a blast making it and uh, you know everyone every video has its little favorite bit in it but no nothing stands out were you dropped as a child yes many times and sometimes not even by people i just fall throw myself off the dinner table or the couch or some stupid shit other than watching your videos liking them and aggressively spam fucking them on any social media 
know, we can find and sharing them everywhere. How can we support you? Wow, what a great question that is, the elevated one. Glad you asked it. For all of you that do not know, I have a Patreon and I recently updated it slash reworked it for patrons of certain tiers to be able to have voting rights on things such as the stupid memes I have behind my desk at each video. Usually I have a very good idea of what I want it to be, but sometimes I don't. So I might give you a bunch of choices and you can pick. Or even picking what movie I'm going to do next. Sometimes I'm very sure what I do. Sometimes, as I said, I pick from the list. So I might just pick a handful and let you vote on which one I'm going to do next. And maybe in the future you can vote on other things. You can also get your name at the end of each video. So go over there, check it out and get... What's your favorite banana? Well, I got this banana I have in my drawer I've kept for seven years in a Ziploc bag and I can't even see anymore. It's so black. But his name is George and I love him. My favorite banana right there. What's your life like? I don't know if it's too personal. Like, are you in uni? What games do you play? Do you have a girlfriend? Etika. Also, will you remember me when you become famous? Listen, Lazy Bobby, you and me, we go way back. You came to me when you were a little boy. I watched you grow, become a man. Of course I'll remember you, my friend. In all seriousness, no, everybody saying, will you remember me? I used to comment this, used to comment that. Pretty sure if you commented a lot back then, I will remember you. But don't be surprised if I don't, because my memory's wonky like that. I'll remember interaction I had seven years ago with a cashier, but I'll forget to write my name on tests and forget the entire semester as soon as I finish an exam. Also, I don't like it getting too personal, but yes, I go to uni. You already know that. Also, um, games I play, I play Overwatch right now. I mean, I haven't played in a couple weeks. I haven't playing anything right now but the most recent thing is overwatch suck at it played apex played csgo gta rainbow six siege bunch of racing games sim racing games i got a sim wheel for super cheap and it was brand new dude didn't know what he was selling got a steal on that i played far cry i played assassin's creed i like single player games but i don't have time to play them or i actually have a list of games i want to play on my wall but as i said no time to play them i'm low-key afraid of ruining my computer if i do download them and play them do i have a girlfriend no i do not sadly bobby you and me we go way back right why don't you find me a girlfriend find me a Big titty goth girlfriend, buddy. As for other stuff, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, my favorite color is blue. And a fun fact about me, my mom had this cassette player and a tape. And I didn't know what it was. And when I was a kid, I put it in there and I played it. And it turned out to be Rick Castley's Never Gonna Give You Up. And this was before YouTube and the internet in 2006. So technically speaking, I got Rickrolled before Rickrolling was a thing. And that fact keeps me up at night sometimes. I gotta tell you, keep thinking, man, what an honor. What a fucking honor. Why are you so funny? I don't know, dude. But I'm glad you find 12-year-old humor crude jokes, bad language, foul mouth, shit ton of pop culture references, and a lot of self-deprecation funny. What's your PC specs? I don't remember that well, but uh, off the top of my head, I have a GTX 960 graphics card, 8 gigs of RAM, Core i5, 4990 or something like that, 2 terabytes of hard drive memory, a 128 SSD for the OS, cooler master case that looks like a transformer, a K dash some, some numbers, I don't know, a uh, 500 watt or 550 watt power supply. I remember what brand it is. Probably Cooler Master 2, I think. And some gigabyte motherboard that I can't remember. I was genuinely concerned when you put out a video where your video card and PC died. How did you recover? It was not from broke shits like me. Glad you're back. You get 1,000 subs out of 233 cheap bastards. Thanks, man. Yeah, I said I wouldn't bring it up again, but I'll do it. So, basically what happened was, a long time ago, when a galaxy far, far away, I made my computer, right? Then not too long after, a power surge happened where I live, and it ruined the power supply, so I had to go switch out the power supply it just wouldn't fucking work properly and I'm pretty sure that it drastically shortened the life of other components inside as well but I only could afford to replace the power supply the reason why I say I think it drastically shortened the life is because ever since then I had massive FPS drops and fucking up in other ways and then suddenly a couple years back they started getting really bad when I was playing Overwatch I think the game just shut off the whole computer shut off and crashed so I was like fuck it I don't want to play any anyway I'm just gonna edit my video I tried to edit my video and it shut off again and then it wouldn't open again I realized maybe it's the graphics card because it'll browse the internet and do miscellaneous shit just fine but whenever uh, the graphics card is acquired just even a little bit more than usual it'll completely kill the computer so I kind of panicked made that stupid video on a laptop went to uh, a guy trying to fix it and it's so embarrassing I went there and it worked I tried to stress test it and it just worked so I went back home started working I started no I started watching a movie I remember and then the screen turned green no artifacting it just turned green I was like fuck it's definitely dead now and I, well, I don't know what came over you but I thought like okay I'm gonna alt tab and I alt tab went to the desktop and it worked and then I I got a pop-up saying something's wrong with the graphics card, like error number, whatever. I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? And I, I'll tap back to the tab I was watching and it's just broken. It like crashed. So I was okay. Oh, at least it's not crashing the computer. And I started doing other shit. Like started making ticking noises like a fucking bomb. Whenever I would go over uh, an icon like uh, on the desktop or on Google Images. And only did that once and no one believes me. Okay. And I read online and it's a very obscure issue. And it might have something to do with the power supply as well as the graphics card. So it might not just be 
the graphics card, then it just continued being very unstable with the way it performed. Like sometimes it would be fine, other days I'd have playing at 10 FPS and the game would crash, but not crash the computer. And then when I open Adobe, it gives me always, there's always an error before I open it, telling me something's wrong with the CPU, but it just allows me to continue editing. However, it still gives me a pop-up that something's wrong, a fatal graphics card error or something, and then you have like this red exclamation mark thingy, hazard sign. It just stays on, but I can still edit and sometimes it will crash, but at least it gives me a second to, to save my shit. Like, I don't know if any of you edit, but if you do, sometimes it'll, you'll notice s stuff stops loading and you know it's gonna crash, so you just save it before it crashes. I don't know if you experienced that. And sometimes when I try and connect my sim wheel, it will shut down, guessing it's drawing too much power, trying to run the wheel, but now it won't. Like right now, I, I recorded this with OBS, playing the game and recorded it with OBS, and it worked just fine. But then I went over to edit this video in Adobe, and Adobe wouldn't open, it just infinite loading screen, which is a very common issue for me now, and a very annoying one as well, because then I have to restart the computer and close out all my tabs and everything I have open and you know open it up again after we start which is kind of annoying but you know it is what it is man I'm just glad it's not crashing out after two seconds of editing so you know as I said I can run with that and truth be told if it wasn't for the people that helped me my subscribers and family hi mom I'd probably be having a panic attack every time I open my computer because it might not open or fuck up and now I can't do this hobby that I love doing that's keeping me sane and uh, the thing I want to be consistent at which is quite depressing because if it does fuck up like something catastrophic happens where it catches fire and burns a hole through the ground and fucking gives me third degree burns okay that won't happen but if it goes kaput for good thanks to all the people that helped i can go down and like try and fix up whatever's broken with it sure i won't be able to get anything nice probably because of all the fucking scalpers hiking up the price and low amounts of stock but it'll keep me going and that's all i need so in conclusion how did i recover i guess god just played a prank on me and then was like just kidding proceed bro would you consider doing high boy takes on tv shows i would love to hear you break down game of thrones well i did actually way back when when i started uh a real life friend was like, you need to do Game of Thrones. And I had recently finished Game of Thrones. I thought about it and I, I can't. It's too big. And there's too much I want to say. It'll take too long and ugh, I can't. But I will give you your take. I'll actually, bro, I'll give you my take and I'll do you one better. I'll give you a channel that actually specializes in fucking Game of Thrones. Literally piss take. He calls his videos piss take. All right. And actually entertaining. And he actually gives thoughtful, insightful shit like character development, comments on that and screen movement play. I don't know. I'm stupid. I don't give a shit about that stuff mostly his name is glidus i'll link his channel in the description but i'll also give you my take game of thrones was all right like it was good it was pretty sick till like season five or six when the book stopped and then the idiots took over and thought we can do this and they just ruined it they just started pissing in the wind not even pissing in the wind they just took laxatives got diarrhea and shit down a fucking leaf blower went into a fucking wind tunnel and pointed the leaf blower at the wind tunnel and put them both on a full blast and have the shit spill all over their face and just ate it up that's just how bad it was you eat first the burger or the fries the burger definitely i've been thinking about starting a youtube channel what are some things you recommend i don't know man anything that you like because if you don't like it you're gonna hate doing youtube how to grow on youtube why are you asking me i'm stupid i'm small i'm still small i mean relatively small but i guess like make something entertaining be consistent be patient and get lucky give your channel a rating uh one dickhead fuck nugget fuck face shit bag out of 6500 cum rags there you go and that's the end of part one go watch part two